the advice he was agreeing to do surgical so that he can recover soon so today i will talk about the introduction for the introduction i will explain about tissue engineering and scaffold tissue engineering also called regenerative medicine refers to the attempt to create functional human tissue from cells in a library its ultimate goal is to be a cure not merely treatment by repairing or replacing tissues and organs that fail due to disease genetic error cognitional abnormalities or traumatic injury as we know tissue engineering relies on four important factors first the right cells to do the job Second, the right environment such as a scaffold to support the cell. Third, the right molecules like growth factors. Fourth, to make the cell healthy, productive, physical, mechanical force to influence the development of the cell. Other than that, we must know the cells can be directly harvested from the target organ developed from particular or stem cells or taken from lines grown in the lab or ideally from the patient as that limits problem with rejection. The supporting structure can be derived from donor tissue from natural or synthetic polymer made to order for their strength or endurance. Biomolecules can be added directly or caused from the cell that take some example tissue and organs that have already been successful tissue engineer and implanted in human includes bladder, small interest, skin graft, enterologies, and even a full treasure. Okay, next, I'm going to explain about scaffold. Okay, we already know scaffolds are material that have been created to contribute to the development of new functioning tissue for medical reason by causing desired cellular interactions. Cells are frequently seeded into the structure capable of supporting the structure of three-dimensional tissue. After that, we must know scaffold are three-dimensional structure that give a developing tissue structure allow cells to attach, proliferate, differentiate, and most crucially structured extracellular matrix. Okay, last but not least, scaffold have been made from a variety of material including polymers such as PLA, PGA, PCL, PEG, and then bioactive ceramic like HA and TC. For the problem statement, I'm going to explain what are the problems with tissue engineering. Okay, we must know another problem and big issue of tissue engineering is a nevicosculation that is essential to supply oxygen and nutrients to the cells in controls. It is virtually impossible to expect neovascularization throughout a cell scaffold 
through in the case in the future. Okay, the second problem statement is how are scaffold used in tissue engineering? The tissue engineering trial which includes cells, security, and growth stimulating error in the key component of engineering tissues. Scaffold which are usually constituted of polymer, biometric, provide structural support for binding and tissue development. I'm going to pass to my friend. That's all from me. Thank you. So after an accident, the recommend treatment uh, is ceramic scaffold in tissue engineering. This uh, scaffold method uh, are one of the most widely used uh, implant materials today. So what is scaffold in tissue engineering? Scaffold are basic materials that can be used to replace broken bones, uh, disease or the other problems. Broken bones uh, in the human body can recover but if the injury is severe, the broken bones will find it difficult to fix themselves or regenerate. Uh, the shattered bone will be treated with this artificial bone or the, or the scaffold. So for the basic materials in tissue engineering uh, is uh, synthetic uh, polymers which is uh, hydrophobic materials like uh, hydroxide acid, Poly acid or PLGA, polyanhydrides, and so forth. Uh, scaffolding are also designed to cause the cell interaction need to help form a new functional tissue for medical purposes. And also, biomaterials, physical scaffolding design, host cell, and even recovery parameters uh, can all work together. Uh, to stimulate bone development. Scaffolding created of these biomaterials uh, can be used as a template, uh, creating an optimum tissue environment for cell survival, uh, pro proliferation, osteogenic differentiation, vascularization, and integration with the host. Today, I would like to present from this accident situation of bone fracture and how it work when bone fracture of 3D printed scaffold for trabecular bone regeneration. High energy fracture injuries and bone disease like osteoporosis which affect more than 200 million people worldwide are some condition that result in bone loss. I guess an implant it take the place of bone right. So the doctor put an implant in his body or his bone to support the weight and bone regeneration. So the inner part of the implant <coughs> it was made from tricasium phosphate. The material has very similar composition as the inguinate fraction of human bone. So therefore, it's a low, very good cell attachment, which is important for ingrowth, ingrowth of blood vessel and supplies of the bone cell with nutrition and oxygen. Finally, one of the most important properties of calcium phosphate is they can be resorbed by bone cells, and afterwards, this material that has been resorbed can also be used to build up new healthy bond by other cells. So it's kind of just this initial scaffold that's going to allow the cell to grow back in and the over time the bond will replace the scaffold. So this in this inner portion is not something that will be in his body long term. I have a question for the scaffold. Is it just for this bond? The answer is no. So you know this answer, this is not something that the doctor would use to replace pickup or something. But the ability to print artificial bone like this would be useful everywhere that you have a large section of bone missing. So the material is very important, right? So next, let's proceed with the techniques. One, his bone got fractured. Ceramic scaffold in tissue engineering surgical was carried out on the particular damaged tissue. 
for the creation of bioceramic porous scaffolds for tissue engineering, a variety of processing techniques have been proposed. In scaffold fabrication, the extracellular matrix, which is known as ECM, always receives considerable attention among researchers because of its high biological compatibility, biological degradability, and possibility of rapid remodeling in vivo. Fabrication techniques is a method by which continuous pore structures process and uninterrupted methods that can be made. Besides that, other methods such as solutions casting techniques, freeze drying, phase separation and more have been reviewed. Hence, techniques is important to produce a suitable scaffolding for patients. Let's proceed to the next chapter. Advantage scaffold in tissue engineering. First, advantage scaffold in tissue engineering is low toxicity. It needs a long exposure for it to be harmful to our body. The second advantage is it's good processability. It means that good processability is the capable of being processed by the body is higher. The third advantage is it was bioactive. Having an effect of open living organism tissue cell, it helps their growth. The fourth, the fourth ability the fourth is about ability to create a strong bond. The host tissue and its progressive degeneration over time as natural host tissue takes its place. The next is it gives cell a place to life by providing structure for support which is it provides structural support in membrane or tissue in our body. The next, the next is uh, advantage scaffold in tissue engineering. It, it was about biodegradability. It means that the capable of being decomposed by bacteria of other living organisms in our body. The last but not least, it contributes to a tissue's mechanical characteristic. It means like it means provide the tissue defect with shape and mechanical stability as well as stability and stiffness to the NG tissue. The last it's improve of the process. Using the four coin experiment to optimize the process parameter higher strain scaffold were obtained. In conclusion, tissue engineering is a cutting edge technique with harsh potential uh, for treating a tissue or organ loss as well as genetic and uh, metabolic problem because there is a rising need for alternative option to fulfill the need for organ and tissue component replacement but uh, in tissue engineering are uh, likely to elicrate Biogelicum polymer have a various uh, advantage in tissue engineering scaffold. Scaffold uh, fabrication, it has been discovered, uh, provide opportunity for new fasciculating challenge and application oriented features in scaffold design. Uh, that's all from me and my group. Uh, thank you.